Welcome. In this video, uh, we will see how you can use Py2Exe to create executables from your Python script. So what we would like to do is to create a folder. And uh, here we create a virtual environment. And basically, after activating the virtual environment, we install the Py2 exe. And uh, once the installation is complete, we can open up our favorite code editor. And let's create a module.py. And inside this module, let's create a data class. And this will be a data class called animal. And we will have a name, an age, and the breed. This should be a string. We will have a pova function, which returns x to the power of y. And we will have a hello message which returns welcome message. Great, now we have a module. Let's create a hello.py and here we import module and create a dog from the animal class and the name is going to be bad boy and the age is going to be 10 and the breed is going to be pug and we just simply print the dog and we print the module dot hello and the message daniel and we also we are also going to print 10 to the power of 4 which is equal to module dot pova 10 and 4. Alright, just to give it a test drive, what we would like to do is to run it. As you can see, it is working properly. We have successfully created our script. I deleted the PyCache folder because that is not needed. What we need is a setup.py and from setup tools.utils or not, which is the one that we need? What we need is the following. This util score this utils.core import setup and we import the py2 exe and in the setup function we say that the console is going to be the hello.py and the package is have to be found in the current directory now if I go ahead and run Python setup.py py2xe we should get an output similar to this and basically what it is going to do is to create a dist folder and inside the dist folder we will see the following let me navigate there so here we are and we have the dist folder and here we can see the hello.exe. So if I go ahead and run the hello.exe, you will see it's the same as if I had run the script. Now I don't have need for Python interpreter. I should be uh, able to transport this executable. So 
this is basically the command which produces the executable. What is important is that you have to specify if you have a like custom module that you use, where to look for that module. And in the console, you will define the entry script. And technically, that's it. See you in the next one.